guys welcome back to Mira's kitchen today I have a new recipe for you I will be making zotter chicken um, if you are new here to my channel and it's your first time visiting my channel please take a moment and subscribe <clears throat> and hit that notification button to get notified of every video I upload and now let's get started and now we're going to marinate the chicken. First, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some olive oil here. This is organic extra virgin olive oil. I'm using two chicken thighs here, but feel free to double or triple this recipe. I'm going to be adding some salt as well. About half a teaspoon here. I'm going to be adding... Um, ground cinnamon and this is just going to be just a pinch of ground cinnamon and I promise you won't taste the ground cinnamon in the chicken just a pinch like this I'm also going to add some onion powder and you can put as much as you like garlic powder again you can go as much as you like or as little as you like according just kind of adjust the seasoning to your taste as well if you don't like garlic don't add garlic but this recipe is best with garlic and i'm going to add some ground black pepper and i'm doing about a quarter teaspoon here And lemon, and I'm gonna be adding about quarter teaspoon. And the secret ingredient to this recipe, and the star ingredient, is going to be the zatar. And I'm gonna be putting about three fourths of my spoon. Here. Now, guys, this is all flavor party right here. I'm gonna give this goodness of ingredients a good mix. Coat the chicken really, really well. And I'm going to allow this to sit for at least 10, 15 minutes. You don't have to do that if you're on the go and you have to make something really quick. <clears throat> but for best results, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes to marinate. And in the meantime, let's work on the corn rice. So to make the rice, I am using old rice that I made yesterday. Just regular steam rice that I have. I'm gonna be adding about a tablespoon of unsalted butter here. And I'm gonna allow this to melt. Just like so. I have my heat on medium high right now. As my butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add some frozen corn. About a quarter cup or so. And I'm gonna stir fry this in the butter for a few minutes until it <clears throat> the corn becomes a little softer. Very simple, guys. Very simple. Very, very simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the cooked rice. And I am going to mix my cooked rice with the corn. Now you want to lower your heat to very low heat and cook this rice corn mixture on low heat. And this is to prevent any sticking to the, to the pan.
Now I'm going to season um, the rice with a little bit of ground black pepper, salt, about a quarter teaspoon, and I'm going to add some mushroom seasonings, just a pinch of mushroom seasonings, and give this a good stir. You want to make sure all your rice are broken down. Just like so. And mix, mix, mix just to incorporate the salt, the black pepper, and the mushroom seasoning. Rice is done. Let's start on our chicken. In a skillet. Be sure your skillet is hot enough before you add your oil and butter. My skillet has been heating, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some extra virgin olive oil, as well as about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to combine the butter and the <clears throat> extra virgin olive oil together, just like so. Chicken in. Again, guys, I am using two chicken thighs here. But feel free to double or triple this recipe. It's great and it's delicious. Highly recommended for you. As long as you add the right ingredients. I'm gonna cook this about two to three minutes on each side. Mmm, the smell in the kitchen is so good, guys, I know. <laughs> All that flavor from the zucker and the cinnamon and the garlic and the onion powder is so great. Party flavor, like I said. <clears throat> I'm gonna continue to cook the chicken on the other side and I will I will show you how it looks. Alright guys. So I ended up covering my chicken just because the oil was splashing. Um, but the chicken is done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. It looks delicious and let's assemble the dish. I went ahead and added my plate my rice on a plate and I'm gonna top that off with our doctor chicken if you guys are just in my kitchen you would see how amazing amazing the smell of the chicken is it's just so much flavor so much aroma that's so good there you go and now the best part is the taste test there you go So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in here because I really cannot wait. I'm gonna get a piece of chicken, some rice with the corn. This looks delicious. Wow, so good guys, so good. Highly recommend it. Please make it at home. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.